Teams in five strong tonight. What allowed you to successfully navigate through that difficult lineup? Yeah, uh, they put together some really tough ABs. Jose was putting down the right fingers, um, and we were pretty smart working through traffic there. Uh, seven hits, obviously not the way you draw it up, but I thought the stuff was pretty good. Um, thought maybe like the third or fourth inning, whatever inning they had, second and third one out. That was a, a pretty big turning point in the game. And besides that, it was just about kind of navigating through. What do you think of Judge's ability to get the lead runner there in that fifth inning? Yeah, that's huge. I mean, a guy hits two home runs and then he shows up on defense and makes a big play. I think I'm probably out of the game right there if he doesn't throw that guy out. Um, you know, you bring up Jose Ramirez with the chance to take the lead. I pro they probably go to the bullpen. So uh, hats off to him for allowing me to, to get through that inning. Um, he picks me up when I needed it. It was the second straight time that you work with uh, Trevino. What is it about uh, your rapport that seems like you guys are really on the same page? Yeah, yeah, he's really solid. Um, I actually didn't throw to him at all in spring training, but he's been showing up and catching all my bullpens and stuff, um, which is a really nice gesture. Um, he's on the bench always talking about sequencing and, and what we're going to throw. Uh, he shows up super prepared. Uh, we did our, our pregame meeting today, and he just had a huge notebook full of notes on these guys. So when you see a guy like that, you kind of just say, all right, I'm just going to trust you and kind of follow your lead. Came from pitcher to pitcher. What's it like watching Michael King do his thing out there? Yeah, um, he's he's a really talented dude. Um, super jealous of the sinker slider or curveball combo, whatever he wants to call it. Um, I think the crazy thing about tonight is like his stuff was great. It always is, but I, I think like he was just executing his pitches. Like he wasn't any nastier tonight than any other night. Like he has the capability of doing that any any time he touches the mound. Um, and he provides length, and he's fearless. Like, he'll go right at, he attacked Jose Ramirez, you know. Uh, like, I've never seen anyone else attack him. So he's not scared of the big moment and the big hitters. The last pitch you threw to Ramirez was your fastest of the night. Was that kind of an empty the tank moment, knowing that you weren't going to get another batter? Yeah, yeah, you see a guy like that up there um, in that situation. Uh, there's a huge crowd tonight. I had a lot of a lot of adrenaline. Um, I know what this lineup's capable of, and I didn't throw it where I wanted to. It was supposed to be up, but at least I put a little extra on it to maybe beat his barrel a little bit. Uh, yeah, just be careful. Uh, we were going over what we wanted to do. Um, I think he's got something like 20 or 22 RBIs already this year, so just be aware. Runner in scoring position, um, you know, just be really, really careful. We don't want to let him, you know, take over the game. That's kind of the, the plan right there. Um, so be careful, work around him a little bit, and see if we could just get him to, to hit our pitch.